So you may have seen on my channel the other week, I did a video on the accuracy of the Ruger Mini 14. I mean, it did very well. Um, I think you need to remember that this was designed really as almost a rival of the AK-47, which has not so great accuracy. But I think a lot of people have said online, you change it to a wooden stock and, and it improves it quite a, quite a lot. And you can buy a stabiliser for the front. But to me, I just see this as some sort of fun rifle. I wouldn't take a semi-automatic really to, to hunt. I'd rather a bolt action. But anyway, I don't want to get off subject. But if you, if you do come in here, I did notice the barrel moves quite a lot. And I think that is probably where people are coming from when they go, up, go on about putting into a wooden stock. It was improved in 2003 and more full me, I obviously bought a pre-2003 model, which it does bring up a positive point about the Ruger Mini 14. Because some of them are said to be a little subpar, you can actually pick them up quite cheap. I mean, I bought this one with a few magazines. It, it came with a scope. So I see it as a bit of a, a fun rifle. I know online there's this big, oh, I don't like the Ruger Mini 14. I like the AR-15 style. I like the AR-15 style. It has a purpose. I have a few of them. But I also quite like the old design and, and the roots that the Ruger Mini 14 has. And a new rifle can't really give you that. But, and also the action. This has to be one of the best I've ever Anyway, I also feel like when you touch the Mini 14, you're almost having a little bit of history because it's, it bears a lot of its design on the old M1 action of rifle. But it's meant to be rugged, it's meant to be reliable, and I think it's meant to be quite fun, which I think it is. So I think we'll just have a couple of shots. Of course, I've got some Federal ammunition, why would I not? It's a, so yeah, it's an American firearm, but it went bang. Let's go for the small plate. That went bang too. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hit this, but let's go for like the two, three inch plate. No, that was me, but what have we got here? We've got some NATO 5.56 ball ammunition. A lot of people say, oh no, you shouldn't shoot 5.56 out, uh, out of a Mini 14. I sincerely hope it doesn't explode. That's, <laughs> that's got a little bit more of a bang to it, hasn't it? Can we hear that small plate? Right in the middle. But yeah, it it's great, it works. I've fired loads of different types of ammunition through this thing. Um, no, it may not, in its standard configuration as I hold it right now, it might not be the most accurate thing. But is it fun? Can I hit targets? That'll be a yes. So, I don't know. I don't know what people are really on about. I get the whole AR-15 thing, I get if you want to put, I don't know, your kitchen sink attached to your rifle, no, you're not going to be able to do that with a, a Ruger Mini 14 it, as it is. But I, one of the only things I will say is a downside to the Ruger is it's is the way it mounts the scope. I don't like that whatsoever. I feel like there's, there's too much um, chance for error when you're putting it on. But... I mean, it is an absolutely beautiful rifle. And it is not inaccurate. Not when you're just having fun anyway. But anyway, I, I thought I'd give my uh, 
very brief opinion on the Ruger Mini 14. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It was just meant to be a little bit of fun, but they're so cheap now. Why, why would you not buy one? Because, I mean, you're talking the World War II era, like the M1 Carbine, your M1 Garand, other rifles of that period are starting to get quite expensive now. Whereas these are almost becoming that surplus that you can buy. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.